Hello, welcome back to another all-time favorite video. This one is for you, John. I show a copy of issue four in a recent haul video, and John asked me to pull out his copy that he gave me. Gosh, four years, maybe five. I say at least four years, at least four years. But we're talking. Jim Storango, Nick Fury. Not an easy selection as far as my favorite, but I think some people might figure that out before I tell you which one's my favorite. But I think any Jim Storango fan will know this run very well because it was short but sweet as far as the covers. He only did interior for a few issues, but he stuck around and did a few more covers. But here's one. And to be honest, one is my least favorite. Some people may love it, but not for me. Here's my beautiful copy. I should have taken these out of the bag because they are all super high grade. Everything is high grade. You know me. Issue two, love the color. One of the hardest issue in this run to find well center for those that are familiar with this book you know how many of them are cut off right there on the spine and you can barely see the m okay and you can see that this one here the m is fully shown okay so yeah love this cover love the color um this one here is a probably not super high grade. I think this is the another one that you know is tough to find well centered as far as as well as high grade. I think my copy here is maybe only an 8.5. Only 8.5 there. Yeah? Issue 3, gorgeous. Some people might say this is their favorite because of the color scheme. Beautiful, beautiful cover right there. Let's look at that. Yeah. I'm sure some people may pick that, right? And here is the copy that John, Dr. Von Chiller, gifted me, issue 4. Nice copy. Okay. Take a look at that. It still have uh, his stamp right there. It's, this is still the original poly bag that he uh, gifted with the book. I have not changed it out. Maybe I should into Mylar, but there you go. Let me take this book out of the bag just to show you how nice it was that he gave me this copy. It's a beautiful copy. I say it's right now as it is, it might be um, an 8.5-ish because of some of the pressable defects. I have not pressed or cleaned this book, but you can see it's really sharp. Not, not much cleaning is needed with this book, okay? There's some imperfection that can be pressed out. The biggest imperfection is on the... Can you see? Maybe it will show up. There's a fairly big dent right there. Yeah. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But as you can see, pretty clean. You know, not much... <clears throat> not much needed. Oh, oh yeah. The reason why I said it was an 8.5, I'm not sure you can see it, but there are some pressable dent right there as well on that corner right there, right? Can you see it? Well, I can't tell from shooting the camera, okay? But it's there. Regardless, I have not cleaned and pressed this book. But that's a copy that John gifted me. Let's move on to issue 5. Now, I say issue 1 is my least favorite. Issue 5 is second least favorite. Okay, even though I like the color scheme here, it looked great. But overall, it's my second least favorite of this run. It's still awesome. Make no mistake, as far as the Ranko cover. Issue 6. Whew, years ago, 
years ago I had a chance to pick up like a 9.4, 9.6 copy of this book, Newsstand Fresh, Colossi. But the asking price was around 100 bucks and I just couldn't, couldn't pull the trigger on that asking price. A tough book, tough book. Now my copy is probably eh, maybe a 9. Okay. Beautiful dark cover. Really, really, really beautiful. The copy that I could have bought at um, was a, that was a nine six. Original asking price of the dealer was a hundred and fifty, and I was like, no way. And he was willing to go down to a hundred bucks, and I said, no. And somebody else bought it for that price. Last is of course this could be in the top for many people many people may pick this one as their favorite okay so i wouldn't be surprised yeah issue seven the dalai lama cover yeah beautiful yeah great run okay it's short but sweet right as far as the quality now as far as my favorite can you guess which one Yes, the design, the psychedelic, the, the lines, it's just... Ugh. Normally, normally, I would complain that the white background, but this is one of the few occasions where the white and the black and all the lines, the design, are oh, stunning. Yeah, now, could a different color work better? Maybe, I don't know. But for me, the red, the white, the black, the blue, the drawing, everything is perfection for me. So there you go. My all time favorite Jim Starangle, Nick Fury, Silver Age cover. <laughs> Thanks for watching.